Hey everyone, I am Arush Dikshit and you are watching Connect Tech Arush English channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to create an earnest handwritten data recognition project. So let's get started. Firstly, we have to set up. So you can see this is Colab Notebook. In here, we have to first change our runtime to GPU. Um, so click on. So first, you have to click on runtime. Then change runtime type. Make sure it is T4 GPU, or if you have a level A1 A100 GPU or V100 GPU, you can use those as well. So let's do it. Okay. So here we have to firstly set up. In setup step, we have two step. Number one is port dependencies. Number two, setup memory growth. In import dependencies, we have to import our dependencies, and in set memory growth, we have to set and tell our TensorFlow we are using GPU. So let's do it. Okay, now we have to run this cell, and it, and in Colab notebook here is a shortcut in which you can run the cell. If you press Shift plus Enter, it will run and move to next cell. You can see if I press Shift plus Enter, it will run and then move to next cell, and that is Markdown. And if I press Control plus Enter, it will run and stay on that cell. Uh, okay, we have import dependencies, so we have to set memory growth. And I explain this as well. Here I have import TensorFlow as TF. As TF means whenever we uh, write, whenever we write TF, it means TensorFlow. Okay, I am telling to Python with this line. Whenever I write TF, it will be TensorFlow, and I am importing TensorFlow as well. And then I have I am importing Keras. In TensorFlow, we have a module Keras. We have to import that. And then we have a library called NumPy. It is used for array operation and such kind of other things. In this thing, we are going to use it in shape operation. Here is CNN architecture also. This is CNN architecture. I will tell this architecture later. Okay. And in matplotlib, we are using matplotlib dot pyplot. Remember, we have to import pyplot, not matplotlib. Means I am importing matplotlib dot pyplot. Means uh, matplotlib has a inner module called pyplot. It is used to plot graphs, and in this project we are going to plot images with help of this. Uh, it has a function called plt dot im show. I am telling this thing as we do here. We are same we are do same here and here except here okay i think you understand then we then we complete the next part okay firstly we have to find how many gpus we have so let's do it
okay we have done this part here firstly we list all the gpus remember we have to type gpu in capital in tensorflow we have a function in config package list physical device if you are using your own computer you have you must have a gpu and if you don't have it's not a problem but you have to suffer from more time so i recommend you support cuda drivers and remember you your gpu supports cuda driver else it will give no there is no device it will give blank list except of the physical device okay here i have list all the gpus and put in a list if you have two gpus it will put two gpus here and in tf dot exp and in tensorflow we have a method set memory growth set memory growth means we are telling tensorflow means we are telling tensorflow we have to use this gpu this which i have selected this gpu we have to use and this function is located in tf dot config dot experimental dot set memory growth and here you have to put true also because we have to tell the tensorflow we are going to use this and it is just for your understanding we can remove it also okay now we have done our setup part let's move on next part first layer hide this these all cells mm, okay we have to load the data set in this step we are going to load the data set in next step in next step we are going to preprocess our data set so let's do this part as well Okay, guys. We have imported our data set. In Keras, I show you here. I show. You, I want to show you one thing. Here we accept. We are using TF dot Keras. We are using TensorFlow. TensorFlow from TensorFlow import Keras. So it works fine. You can also do with TF dot Keras. It will run also. But that is useless to add TF because we have already import Keras. You can do it. It's not. It's not any problem. Okay, we have imported our data set. Here we have to. We receive two tuples. You know this is these are tuples. Bracket means tuple. And here. We are receiving two tuples. Number one tuple is for training data set. Number two tuple is for testing data set. Firstly, we have to receive the training data set tuple. Here we have X train, Y train, and then Y X test, Y test. Okay, I think you understand this. If you can't, you can you can put that in commands. So let me visualize it. Here you can see it is image of five, and these are image of twenty eight cross twenty eight. If I tell you the shape, next um, why I put dash every time? Okay, extreme dot zero dot shape. Twenty eight cross twenty eight, and it is grayscale image. 
so we have to remember these things in mind and here if I show you y train of 0 we are using 5 it will return as 5 yes because it is image of 5 and we have put x train dot 0 x train of 0 then here also y train of 0 if I put here 1 and it is 0 I remember and here I also put 1 then it is also 0 so you can see we have a, a strong relationship that means I want to see that we have data set correctly imported ok ok we have visualized it also so we can move on next step next step is pre-processed data so let's do it guys Ok now we have done these all steps means second step and here we rescale our data add and convert y label to categorical and here build neural network this is main step firstly I want to show you a thing which I yet created a graph of neural network we follow this structure Firstly, we have an image of 28 cross 28 cross 1. We can remove this, but we don't because it is grayscale. So, if we have an image of 7, we will pass it to convolution layer, and the filters will be 32, and kernel size will be 3 and activation will be done and we change the kernel initializer guys because it is too important to change the kernel initializer because it when i use it without the kernel initializer a problem called vanishing gradient occur which has uh, which has a problem of underfitting so we don't so we use kernel initializer also if we don't use we get vanishing gradient problem and then the our convolutional layer has been done then max plane layer if we have shape of this we will convert the shape to this with the help of max pooling layers so 2 cross 2 means here we have a mage we split here of 2 cross 2 here we will in each of the box we will find the maximum element suppose here is 4 here is 2 here is 7 and here is 9 so this will be now new matrix so let's remove this now we flatten this because if we have an image of this thing it is 2d it is 2d and our ANN has only functionality of 1d 
so we use flatten layer to convert it to one day it is too important guys we have to use flatten layer and here we have now ann part so here we have 100 neurons in first layer uh, i draw it carefully uh, 100 data and with the activation of relu and kernel initializer will be here uniform as same as we do here oh, what is the problem when i act i have to this okay now we have done this part and then we have to use sort max for converting these all numbers to probabilities and then find a maximum probability and that will be our output so if we put here 7 it will give us result of 7 so i think you understand so let's build this new network i will use this architecture which i had here Okay, guys. We have two. We have two steps. Means we have two ways to do it. We can add layer. We can use model dot add function and add our layer here. And as well, we can use here model. here we have a list and here we can pass all the layers which we want so let's do it firstly we have to import the keras.layers we have added three cells so here we have to import sequential we are going to use step way number two here we put on 2d because we have 2d image scatter here is small d scatter d i write correct okay we have to put here filters we have put this by this and kernel size kernel size of 3 comma 2 comma hmm, activation value choose equals value not kernel will be hey uniform remember the spelling of hey hey means h e don't put here h e y he, you can say it he normal also here we have done this part then we have to done this part also so let's do it And here we need to pass our pool size. Two cross two. Max pool two D. I will show you a layer called max pool two D. Here, if I put max pool and then I press Control plus Shift, it will give this drop down. And I have to click on here. Max pool two D. Then. We have to convert it flatten and okay this is the problem which I had thinking okay 
so here we have to use flatten then we can put here dense of 100 neurons 100 activation Because we have 10 classes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. These are the classes which I have saved. Activation is equals soft map. Now we can run it. If there is any problem, we will solve it also. So if we are using Nestro Vinisher, Nestro Optimizer, then we have to pass loss here. Loss thought, loss loss. Loss loss thought. Categorical loss and categorical loss and to be. The last dot matrix dot. Accuracy. Here the accuracy does not matter. Here F1 is for score precision and other things So we use precision, recall, and F1 is score in our matrix. Okay, I will explain the line meaning. 
Here we use the optimizer of gradient descent, stochastic, stochastic gradient descent, STD full form is stochastic gradient descent or we can say gradient descent also. Here we pass the learning rate, the learning rate is 0 0.01 and momentum is 0 0.9. Here the momentum technique is also a technique and here the loss will be categorical cross entropy. We can use sparse categorical cross entropy well, but here we will pass these labels because that's why we add an additional line. We, we can use here also and we can delete it and then pass here sparse categorical cross entropy also. That is also fine. And in metrics, we use three metrics precision, recall, and F1 score. If I, if you will put on the Google, you will see all of these formula. So let's fit it. What is that fit on that screen? Okay guys, I am back and here you can see it's returning and keras.hrc.callback.history object. We can save it also to a variable called history and we can use history.history .history to use and plot our graphs of these values too. But we don't use that. You can do it by just writing in history is equal to and it will save. The history object and you can put here history dot history and recall recall accuracy loss and you can plot everything you can plot everything which shown here so let me predict Okay, it's written probabilities and here if we put np dot r max it will return the output and the index. Here we don't print the index because the because these are numbers. It's predicting as five. Guys, we have done and if I show you the line meaning. 
से इफ आई पुट फर्स्टली आई शो यू एन पी और आर्ग मैक्स आर्ग मैक्स ऑफ वन आर्ग मैक्स ऑफ वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव इट विल रिटर्न फाइव एंड वॉट एवर वी वॉन्ट इट विल रिटर्न टेन ओके इट विल रिटर्न द इंडेक्स ऑफ मैक्सिमम नंबर हियर इट इज वन जीरो इट जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स दिस इज सिक्स इट सेवन इट एट इट्स नाइन एंड इट इज टेन सो द मैक्सिमम नंबर इज in index number 10 so if i show you the xp dot expand dims here expand dims of x train of 0 you know the meaning of x train dot x train of 0 so if i put here we have to pass the x is to x is equal to 0 it will put a bracket 2 here so if i look at the shape it will give us a batch of one image if i put here one it will the shape will be 28 comma 1 comma 28 so if i put here one it will give 28 comma 1 comma 28 and it means it put the bracket here and then the model requires a batch so we pass that and here you can understand now so we have do the same thing here also and it will return as 5 and if i put here 1 it will return 0 because it is correct zero now our model is too good guys so if i write here model dot evaluate evaluate x string comma oh, sorry x test comma y test oh sorry we have to convert it to category equal also here as the total stock to under the stock category equal Now you can see our recall and precision and F1 score is too good. Here the accuracy does not matter because our because our data is imbalanced and so that's the accuracy does not matter. And recall F1 score and precision matters. So let's save the model. We have saved the model already. We can delete it. we have to write here model dot save a um, model dot h5 for keras you can write here keras to i write keras only okay now we have saved the model and we have to use model dot oh sorry load model dot keras here whenever we want to use the model we have to use the same architecture which we have used which we have used here we have to use the same architecture we have which we have used here so let's load the weights now okay now our model weights are loaded to if i Again on test, it will be same now. 
so the model dot keras is done we can download this we can download it also you can download it is no problem okay we have to import cv2 for testing on other images so let's do it we have to use cv2 im show we can't use cv2 dot im show okay it is image of three you can see here and if i use model dot predict on the field we have to resize it also and convert it to our image cvt cvt color color and this goes bgr to cv2 use bgr format instead of rgb we have to remember it Twenty-eight image with the grey channel because grey have one channel only. So here we can put, pass it to our model. Okay, we don't convert. NP dot expand dooms. NP dot expand dooms. From axis is equal to. Here is a problem right now. What is the shape of the image? Oh, 
Okay, it's already grey. The output is 3. If I put here 2, th means 3, 2, it is difficult image to predict. Because it has some noise also. So what is the output now? What? Okay. Okay, some are of this skill and some are of RGB. So we are going to dot CV to color. Okay, the output is three. It is predicted right. If I put here two, two dot GPG, it is image of two. And if I run this, it is predicting right. And if I put other image around, so what will happens? Image noisy with the help of white. we have already saved the model it is the benefit to save the model
it is predicting with right precision and then is wrong but all prediction are right so our model is good so Okay guys, I, I re-explain the meaning of all the lines and then I uh, will quite up the video. Firstly, we import dependencies. Import TensorFlow as TF. From TensorFlow import Keras means we are importing Keras from TensorFlow. And then we are importing NumPy as NP. And then we are importing PyPlot as PLT. Then we are telling about TensorFlow. We are using GPU also. And here we are loading our amnist data set here we show the image here i i see the shape here white train we in white train we extract the index number one it is zero and it is zero two so it is same and the labels are done here we rescale here we put all the layers from the keras and here we build a model and here we compile model and fit it and here we convert to categorical and after that we predict on a prediction and this line is for evaluating our model on x test and y test and then we save model and then we load a new model we test on other images too and here is here is 4 and the accuracy is 3 upon 4 upon 100 3 upon 4 into 200 4 into 100 ok the accuracy is 75 but here the Accuracy does not matter, the precision and recalls matter. So, if you search your precision metric, the formula will become the formula will. <coughs> okay, two positives upon two positive plus false positive <coughs> okay here true positive three out of three plus two will be seven and Okay, our model is trained and it is doing too well. But here the one prediction is wrong with noisy image because we don't give the image in training data set. This image is too difficult to predict because if I put it here, you will see a thing. Here I put white dots also with my 
pair of sniffing tool and that site is too difficult to predict and it is predicting it as it because here it is image of it creating an image of it here with two dots so so our model is created thank you guys thanks for watching we will meet at next video with some interesting project